Thank you for joining another episode of Morales Outdoors. What's your MO? Hey guys, how you doing? Pedro here. And in today's episode of Morales Outdoors, I am showing you guys how I tie a tapered leader to my uh, float line on my fly rod. And then I also add an extra leader on that tapered leader to prevent uh, losing that leader as I switch out flies. So stay tuned for that. And after I do set up that rod, I do catch some really nice bluegills. Um, this is over at Cheeto Lake, so enjoy. Okay, guys, so I got my line here, my tapered line, and I'm going to add it to my float line. What we're going to do is a surgeon's knot. It's a double surgeon's knot. It's real easy to do. So you're just going to get your two lines, put them together like such. I do have them together. You probably can't see my other line because, of course, it's clear. But we're just going to make a, a loop like this. So you have your loop, and then we're just going to get this and put it right here. We're going to pull it through once, so we got that to where it's pulled through once. Now we're going to do it again, it's pulled through twice. Just like such, and then we're going to cinch the two lines together. Just like such. Make it real tight. And then we're going to cut those tag ends off right there. And we have our lines you joined. Now, instead of tying my line directly onto to my tapered leader, I'm actually going to do a double surgeon's knot again, and I'm going to attach some six pound test line to this one. And we're going to use the same knot as I did before. And six pound clear. Now we're going to do the same thing. Two lines. Go through once. Go through twice. This one I'm wetting. Nice and tight, and clip your tag ends. Oh. 
I'm going to clip that again, but I want you guys to see that. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. A little tiny knot. Now, we have our six pound tip it. And now I'm going to show you what I'm starting out. So this is the bug I was using yesterday. Red body, blue legs with uh, little black speckles on it there. See that? And then the knot that I'm going to use for this one is just going to be your standard cinch knot, loop knot, whatever you want to call it. Two, three, four. I just go around six times. Sometimes I'll do seven for good luck. Lost it. Put it through the loop. Wet your line. Cinch it down. Remove your tag end. Now we're ready to go. Let's go catch some fish. Oh, there we go, guys. All right, finally. Jesus. Well, didn't get that on camera, but this one's a nice one. Look at that. There, guys. I thought you got a snack. Good. God, that took forever. <laughs> it's a decent one, too. Oh, my goodness. All right, folks. Finally got one. It's a nice, decent one. Look at that. That'll make for some good big. All the worthwhile when you finally get one. Got him. All right, guys. Those suckers get in those weeds. <whistles> All right, guys, that's what we're talking about. Let me get myself together here. All right. Just give it some time. And they come back. Look at that. Nice, guys. What we're after.
Man, am I enjoying myself with that fly rod. It is so much fun. I, I think I'm going to take on a little more with uh, fly fishing and start trying out a lot more stuff with it. It's, it is so much fun. I spent a total of four hours catching just those four bluegills. The fourth one I did not get on camera. Now I'm going to use those bluegills that I caught for crab bait. So stay tuned for the next video because this morning, right now it's 945. It is Monday morning and we are headed to Newport, Oregon. And then uh, we're going to stay there on the jetty. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to be heading to Seaside so that we can do some surf perch fishing or whatever we can do. So stay tuned. Enjoy.